All right, so first bathroom break. We're actually halfway there, and I just downloaded the Instacart app onto my phone, and I'm checking out what stores can deliver to the house. This is a mama's priority. So there we go. Probably gonna go for Aldi. And we got Food Line. I know Food Line. We got Costco. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lots of good choices. Right to the door. Yay. Okay, we are here. I have a funny story about us getting in the door the first time, but isn't this pretty? Pretty deck and an arbor. Nice big front deck. Yay, here's the front door. So whenever I came the first time, and that pretty glass, um, and the directions say to enter the numbers on the keypad, and you see what's missing there? Keypad's missing. So while I was waiting to hear back, from the homeowner, woo! We tried the front door and opened and came right in. And there's the keypad there and the key. So we just thought that was funny, but she said she had someone doing some work here today and they must've forgot to put it on. And they live in the neighborhood too and everything's very safe, so that's all good. Anyway, that was our fun little adventure. So uh, this is a duplex and um, this is four bedroom, three bath, this is like little living room area and the stairs. So pretty living room area. And then we got a TV. Now, even though I say four bedroom, uh, just like at home, there's multiple beds in the bedrooms. We just got a little closet here. And so yeah, nice little living room area, eating area, kitchen. We'll be in here a lot. I like their backsplash. There's our, okay, get ready refrigerator. Get ready, get ready. Oh, you can handle, you can handle us for two weeks. Yes, you can. You can do it. We've got to give the kitchen a pep talk now, right? I saw the Keurig, but a regular coffee pot. Good, okay. So anyway, there we go. Cute, cute, cute hallway. And then we have bathroom here. And then laundry room, which is so nice whenever you're traveling like this. And then this will be, now I've got to figure out, excuse me while I turn the lights on here. Can I turn on a light? Yes, I can. I know I can do it. I'm just going to encourage myself. No, maybe I can't. Maybe. It says light. Oh, there was one. Okay. Okay, well, that's the start. Okay, so this will be Travis and Tobin and I's room, and it has an extra bed, so I figured if Benjamin wants to sleep in here, he can. This is super low to the ground. Travis, Mr. Six Foot Six, may not be his thing there. Let's see, got a little back deck. So Travis and everybody's in the van. There we go. Well, I give you a tour because, you know, once we start living here, and this, got a TV in the corner. Okay, more bedding and such. And a closet. Maybe, yes, yes, okay. So then we'll go upstairs. I like like those wall hangings. And even though this is paneling, <laughs> you know me, I live in a house hunter show in my head, but they did a nice job painting this paneling. There you go. Okay, so now I'm gonna head upstairs. Okay, so some little pictures on the walls. Okay, so then this, I figure girls' room, uh, my mom, Naomi, and Amelia. Yeah, it's already, Zion was joking, it's already appropriately colored. <laughs> so, very cute. And then another bathroom here. Yay. This is a smaller bedroom. I could not figure out how to get the light on in here, uh, but this will be Zion's room, and then we have some different family members coming at different times, and so Zion is going to switch out and give them this room. It'll end up being, see, we're here for like 14 days, I'm thinking through, I think it's going to end up being four to five of the days. We'll have other people here. This is probably like a utility closet. So. This will be the boys' room, and it also has its own bathroom. And look, the cow. They knew we were coming. So this will be Gabriel, Liam, and Daniel. And then this may be 
three younger boys in that bed. Maybe Zion will sleep in there for the nights we have other family. However it goes. I left some towels there for us. And uh, yay for traveling four hours, but it all went really well. We took a break about an hour and almost two hours in between. And the rest of the time, because we get to see beachy things, it's just uh, super entertaining. So that's it. This is the the beach house we will be at. And we saw the path that goes right to the water. So I'm thinking if we can work it out, just me sitting down for a minute and doing it, probably gonna order DoorDash for dinner. And I was looking at the restaurant options, which is everything, so yay. Okay, so here's what um, 10, 10 25 at night McDonald's looks like. Here's our receipt. Oh, and Tobin, here's me talking. Here's our receipt. Thank you, DoorDash. We gave a nice tip. Now I'm going to get all this out. This is also the state of the kitchen with everything brought in. Nothing's put away yet. But I was working on an Instacart Aldi order. And uh, anyway, I was like, oh, I forgot two baking dishes, but they had them here. So we are saved as I'm doing our meals and getting what we need ordered. So here's how the bags look like out of the boxes. I've been, these are the combo meals, I've been unpacking the drinks. Some of the drinks didn't make it here fully. That's okay though. I mean, we're asking a lot. Those were with the two kids meals. Here's how they packed the drinks. So that's where that spilled. And we'll put that, I'm like hey, we have trash boxes now. But I did request, and this is my uh, large family mom tip, request for them to put all the combos in their own individual bags. That way it's not like a bag of 50 burgers. A little easier for me to organize it that way. Oh, and there's the kids meals. So there we go, I got everything laid out. They actually, they did not pack it in the individual bags, so I'm gonna organize it myself here. But there we go, late night vacation dinner. Good morning everybody, woke up, this is still here. I put in a grocery order last night for Instacart for Aldi, and that will be coming here shortly. Hadn't even had any coffee yet today. We gotta pull this ship together, but my mom and the kids did already go to the beach this morning, so now we're gonna get this work done. Alrighty, so I'm gonna just put this. This is the laundry room, by the way. Usually at rental houses, folks will leave extra odds and ends. Anyway, I was stepping on something wet, so I was looking at that. There you go. So that's for our laundry for the week or two. So <laughs> all the tripods I find. You're currently sitting on an instant pot. I guess maybe I can set you on a cabinet. Anyway, would like to talk about where the uh, Chambara, where do you get all your energy? All the those really nice encouraging questions. Uh, someone else is holding my baby for a moment so you probably hear him. So it's 11 now and uh, I was up till almost one. We've done a lot the last two days. Was up till almost one to get that instant cart order in and um, just, yeah, do some stuff that needed done. Then got up about seven because Benjamin was up. Then we were able to, praise the Lord, pass the chicken, get the TV and the Netflix set up in our room. Travis got that going so he could watch Aquanauts while I lay there and half slept, half nursed Tobin for a little longer than, I don't know, probably 9.30 or so. I sat up in bed and got some online work done, got a video published for today, added more drinks to the Instacart order, and what else? Anyway, so here we are at 11, finally down here. We got a chair driving, I hear that. I'm gonna have coffee, it's gonna make everything better, yay. Okay, and then, oh, look at this. Sunflower cup, yay. Okay, so we've had a 
Instacart change. Last night I ordered a lot of these little salads just ready to go. Again, hashtag try to make it easy on everybody involved, right? So we just take salads to the beach or whatever. So I requested a replacement because two of them she couldn't get. We'll see if that works out. It looks mommy, like I only got one. I mommy, 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 mommy. <laughs> I only got one of my two cottage cheese. But it looks like everything else we're getting. Trying to move the snacks out of the kitchen area. I know we've got a bunch of them, but moving those on that wall where Gabriel pushed them. Okay, meanwhile, we are getting stuff replaced and it's all working out. I'm using the cabinets for some things, but other things that also kind of makes me nervous. I don't want to forget anything, but I know we're going to be here for two weeks. So, like, I just unloaded the spices and such. Let's see what I show up yet. I know you did. That means I can have and, like, it. some small appliances. Okay, I've committed to one cabinet where <laughs> stuff is unloaded. And look at this. I've got a happy Instacart shopper. She even told me good morning. We're trying to get the right amount of salads here worked out. So this is funny, I'm opening up their cabinets and look, they got a decent sized little pot there and a slow cooker and a mixer. Now who would have ever, ever known? <laughs> and let's see what's in here. Got different pictures in there, another emergency coffee pot, I can appreciate that. Over here, okay, we have MD rooms, okay. So yeah, I've just been unloading things on the counter so I can kind of see what I have. I took these potatoes with us because those weren't going to last either, and I thought they would travel well. So, hmm, let's see. Again, it's just more of me feeling like I'm going to forget what we brought and what we have. But we have empty cabinets, so let's use them. I brought my jar. Sometimes I feel like I can't drink my beverage unless I drink it out of a jar. up here. Now that I'm blocking that peanut butter too much because, okay. Things you know, things you know. Okay, well, <laughs> my head hurts. That's okay. Uh, oatmeal. Is there a place to put oatmeal? They got some bowls there. They did a good job on, um, show you all the cabinets, bowls and plates. Okay, so we'll put these. I got this bag full of vitamins. I'm just gonna leave it here. Got some lotion and stuff in there too, for now. But yeah, so here we are. The kitchen, you know what it looked like before? So here we go, guys. We are at least unpacked. Uh, of course, we do have a mountain of snacks here. And I hadn't thought through it all, because you know it is hard to think through all the things. But very soon, we're waiting for our groceries right now, and then we gotta put those away. Um, anyway, we can pack our snacks and salads and sandwiches and things in that Aldi bag. Benjamin is amazing. No, you can't take, we, that's not ours, honey. We can't, we can't take up their air conditioning grate, okay? We have them in the ceiling at it's our ours, house, not on the floor. It's ours today. It's ours for, for two weeks, but we still have to take care of it. All right, so we had our Instacart fella might have been his first large family grocery haul while on vacation, but he put it all here on the deck for us. And now we're going to bring it in. He did a good, good job. So there we go. The great Aldi order of the uh, 
<laughs> the first grocery haul <laughs> for this vacation. We just broke in our Instacart fella just fine. I'm obviously not right now gonna unload all this and, and do like a full haul, but I'll kind of do a haul while I load the fridge. Do it that way. these little salads that I got. Some things may not stay exactly where I put them, but we'll organize it. Just need to kind of get it out of my bag at the moment treats for later. Let's see, let's go down there. Benjamin was super excited when he looked on my app and saw that. We got sandwich things, salad things. Refrigerator's beeping at me. You have no idea what you're doing. No idea. Another watermelon. I know it's technically uh, getting to be watermelon season. These are small, but it'll be it'll be good to have. We had our first seasonal watermelon the other day. I think my meat might be off or maybe I ordered it off. Remember, I was mom, mama was ordering late <laughs> trying to figure this all out. But uh, see, I got, not this leftover McDonald's. We got four packs of um, pork chops and those are about a pound each and they're boneless, okay. And then I've only got a two and a half pound pack of hamburger. Um, so, I've just got to look at my order. I did get confused on a few things last night with it. So um, unless there's another bag here and I'm missing it, I expected at least one more pack of hamburger and I have to look at my meal plan. I feel like there was a whole other meat, but again, it was late. And the glorious thing is I can just put in another order. So just gotta check that. I just remembered I'm doing like a ratatouille, a vegetable soup. Um, tonight I'm doing pork chops in the Instant Pot. They're like a creamy pork chop. And then tomorrow night I'm doing like a Philly cheesesteak kind of casserole. And then next night I'm doing that and I don't need meat for it. So that's, that's, um, why I don't have a third meat, so that makes sense. I'm now remembering what I was doing in the middle of the night. Of course, I need <laughs> chicken broth for all the things. I did, I looked at my chicken broth in my 
pantry at home and I thought I should bring that but then it just gets to a mental fatigue point and I thought you know what I can also order it it will be okay I did one thing I would have liked to have brought and again didn't didn't even think of it is condiments I was like oh no ketchup <laughs> so I got mustard I got I, I brought my spices but I got I got some backup spices plus at Aldi I mean they're like 65 cents each so where did I put them yeah uh, so why not get some more and they didn't have fresh basil I got this for the soup I'm gonna do got some olive oil and yeah mayonnaise and such And I guess I'm just gonna put bread on top of the refrigerator and we're gonna use it. And hey, there's space up there. Get up there, bread. We will be fulfilling your destiny. Okay, I just got four loaves. Very sensible, very sensible since we're ordering every couple days. But now when we order every couple days, the orders won't be this big, you know, or famous last words. We'll see, stay tuned. And then the chicken broth and probably all these condiments I'm gonna put over here. And put the mustard and basil over here. For now, they'll go in the fridge once they're open. And I've also decided I can have a second cup of coffee. Okay, so while second cup of coffee is in full force, I'm gonna show you this refrigerator. So we got we got it all jammed up, don't we? Yes, we do. Good job. We did bring I brought those drinks from home. Uh but <laughs> and some wraps and the jelly. Okay, so down here in this drawer, it's some veggies. Some of these, like for that soup, um, I needed eggplant. I got tomatoes, because I like tomatoes and cottage cheese. I got the green peppers for that Philly cheesesteak casserole, and some more onions and carrots. Kids like carrot stick snacks. Then we got apples also from home, but another bag of mandarin oranges. Four packs of strawberries, two packs of blackberries, already gone, like gone within the next hour. Two things of yogurt. Whole lot of squash, whole lot of zucchini that's back there. I thought I was ordering like six squash and five zucchinis. Instead, I got six packs of squash and five packs of zucchinis. But guess what? I love them. We'll eat them. Oh boy, will we eat them. So yay, that'll be fun to eat up. Um, here's some sprouted bread. We got wheat bread up there. Got some cheese sticks and then let's see here some hummus for those carrots. Back here um, cheese for sandwiches or salads. Whole stack of different deli meats some salamis and then here are some of those quick salads. Also thought I ordered more of those but he was having trouble at the end with some that they were out of. I got five dozen eggs. You know that's nothing little bit because they're small containers sour cream some cottage cheese there's butter in the tub back there one cottage cheese one greek yogurt i need that for some bacon and stuff i hope to do and then the meat so that's meat for tonight and tomorrow but uh, i need more ground beef than that I, I mean i need at least two more pounds really some almond milk back there so there's the refrigerator and then over here, I got some of uh, my treat ice creams, and my mom will like these too. Frozen strawberries, some treats for the kids. Um, that bag of ice was here, so we're probably not going to use it because I don't want to use someone else's ice. Anyway, um, <laughs> just like, what's the history of this ice? Okay, some broccoli, Brussels sprouts, green beans. I threw the rest of the sprouted bread up in here because that's all I know. Some California... Uh, vegetables back there there's that and then on the counter you have seen the bananas potatoes from home baby watermelons and then in here is where everything else went these are condiments that I know we're going to use today and I just I'm going to wait until we open them and then get those in the fridge and then if I haven't shown you I'm, I'm sure I have 
counters and then here okay okay so that's it we're settled in we're gonna go to the beach now yay after after I get my second cup of coffee and the appliances <laughs> are enjoying their vacation too and then here is the wall of water bottles and kid juice as you see they made us a tower and then we have the pantry type snacks we brought as well okay so we're here mama took a little nap with Tobin nursed him to sleep he is now with Travis and I have come back with my mom and a whole bunch of kids for a couple hours this afternoon and tomorrow we will start fresh getting out here early I'm gonna send Travis to Walmart tonight this is one of his assignments to get me another one of those canopy tents we had one for the lake and after I think two seasons it the wind took it but I want a fresh one for tomorrow I'm gonna bring Tobin out so that's it we did it we packed we've taken the small appliances on vacation we've shopped for a whole lot a lot of food we made it I'm in my sun hat and that's it <laughs> so thank you so much I'll see you real soon with another brand new video bye bye